quick review on the uh, logic analyzer extension that you could buy on ebay for 100 bucks or something like that this is even the older design there are newer design now the idea was to use a low cost uh, uh, low voltage differential signal uh, uh, driver instead of uh, the costly op amp that is the the 2216 uh, logic probe that is sold by Rigel and but of course it's limited by voltage uh, this is not supposed to be tolerant to higher voltage than five or six volt and uh, it's also limited in frequency compared to the uh, the original one but it's uh, cost less so I, I wanted to try it uh, probably I would buy another uh, more recent design and also will probably modify it to to be uh, plus or minus 12 volt which is uh, more in line with the uh, uh, serial port uh, common connection that we have between uh, computer and other device uh, but this is uh, at logic level 0 to 5 volt or 0 to 3.3 .3 volt it would work uh, very well uh, I use inline serial uh, port just to, to demonstrate how it works but it's uh, already beyond the 0 to 5 volt but it does not fry yet the voltage so it's suggested to use a voltage divider uh, if you want to put uh, some kind of signal like that into the logic probe so it's more suitable for inboard uh, uh, SPI or uh, something like that have low voltage uh, serial directly is, is higher voltage than that but at logic level on the board it could it could be fine to debug anything how do you use this well you have 16 input the left part is the signal and the right part is a ground so you could use anything uh, it came with those uh, nice uh, hookup but uh, I recommend if you do a design of a, of a board just put two header and use those pair of uh, cable with uh, a connector at the end and the idea would be to have a ground and, and a signal and you twist the uh, the entire pair from the logic analyzer up to your your design that you want to investigate in my case it's just a single pin it's not a pair but uh, I, I just pick up some signal that makes sense uh, on this. So this is hooked up to a low cost flat cable, and the same kind of cable that was drying a disk drive on the older computer. And, and you simply need to activate it. Uh, of course, the signal is coming from my two GPS. Uh, one is uh, the old American CNS one, but the uh, I brought the Chinese uh, uh, time base for uh, the old analog uh, 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 cell tower and it has a 10 megahertz output stabilized with a GPS and this is useful for my frequency counter and uh, it's a low-cost frequency counter but now it worked very well with high pressure compared to uh, let's say uh, HP uh, frequency counter that uh, that cost a lot more uh, than this thing but anyway the, uh, let's work with the logic analyzer. So you only need to hook up to this thing. Um, the way it works, you enable it with the, uh, I don't, you don't see the mouse. Oh, well, maybe I will use it over here. So my display will do it again. So it's difficult to operate with a, with a phone, but anyway. Logic analyzer, by default, you have 16 traces. If you click again on this, you could change a little bit the uh, the way it display. So basic setting. Uh, by default, you got all the setting. You could change it to small. So now half the display is occupied by the logic and you could use the other half for the analog signal. 
If you do not use the uh, 16, you could change the display to medium. Now half of it is, is spread over here. And if you only, if you wish to, you could even extend it further to uh, eight signal covering all. And now you got a little bit more uh, space to work with. Uh, I will deactivate the trays that I'm not using, put it back to medium. Uh, this thing is is to just simply change the order. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five. Um, simply change it to the other. So now it's zero, one, two, three, four, five. So simply the order is reverse, depending on what you want to do. Um, the original Logic Probe from Rigol, you could change the threshold. Uh, if you work with differential signal that has a different threshold than than, than uh, expected, you could you could adapt to it. But of course, the eBay, uh, even even though it's not ca taking care, it's it's designed for zero to five or zero to three point three volt, and that's it. So if you want to do something more fancy, like um, serial port to RS four twenty four. Uh, or 422 or things like that you need you need differential voltage uh, with different threshold but in our case it, it's just the uh, the basic level um, I recommend strongly to rename everything with uh, with a meaningful title and uh, you got a you got a, a list of basic label that you could choose but you you could simply apply the the name that you want uh, i use a scheme d for digital zero to 16 and and why i want to do that because i can move the trace i will show you and then the uh, the signal so the cns uh, gps clock with the transmit signal in this case uh, but basically that's that's how it works once you got your trace enabled, uh, you can do something interesting. One line is red. You could highlight the line that you observe in red. It doesn't do anything more than that. But the title is on the left. You could remove the title if you wish. But uh, in order to see a little bit more, let's remove some feature. Display, remove the grid. Uh, the scale and now we got something easier to look at uh, and uh, again you could change the order of what you have here so let's move the uh, the clock reference on top so you select half the amplitude and you drag it someplace else and let's get the other clock which is the Low one here. Let's move it to an existing truck. You you could only move it to over an existing traces. And then I got transmit receive transmit receive for the uh, the other traces. So I got the clock for the CNS and the clock for the Chinese symmetrical uh, GPS. And now what we can do with that? We could uh, move a little bit or change my hand I could move the start of the scope time base to the left and now it's very interesting by the way um, the scope for both analog and digital change behavior if you go to slower than 100 uh, millisecond per division or one second for the entire display uh, for the logic analyzer if you go slower than that the logic analyzer is disabled other feature also disabled but that's fine uh, if you want to analyze something slower than that then you're probably better with a pen and a paper but anyway uh, the point is you could go faster but not slower than this now with the clock adjusted to the left part you could uh, see now something very interesting. I got, well, 
I got some uh, event, some traces uh, in the communication that are not always at the same place. And you, now you could appreciate the timing uh, of the entire uh, package, I could say. Uh, you got the context, a better view of the context of how it works. Let's add something uh, sampling wise. Uh, now I'm the uh, longest time possible, 100 milliseconds. And this is only one analog trace and up to 16 digital trace and it's probably the best. Uh, basically what you intend to do is Use one analog trace to inspect the health of the digital signal. If the health is fine, you could uh, go away with the, uh, uh, make, make disappear basically the other signal. Uh, let's move this time base to uh, a lot faster. Let's go to something like 50. This is the maximum sampling rate that you get at this point. Uh, if you turn off the logic analyzer, now you get the maximum sampling for one analog, 125 giga samples per second. If I enable the logic, it is equivalent to having one analog trace uh, of bandwidth that is gone and if i enable two i got now 300 and if i enable the two remaining signal now i got everything in the scope i go down to 156 mega sample per second but again this kind of display will never be used so you have to be realistic uh let's move back this thing to the center and try to work with the clock signal so let's remove uh, some traces i don't want to have the trace number four i don't want to have the the fourth which is the 10 megahertz signal let's go to the digital Disable the unused traces and uh, also in this setup I could move the individual traces so let's move number one down let's move number two down and now we got uh, let's say the clock digital 2 i could swap it with this one so now we got all the clock together and we got the analog uh, at the bottom and we got also transmitter receive for the two we could disable that um let's go here so i need only uh digital 5 and digital 2 so transmit receive transmit receive let's get rid of that and now we got something where we could look at the clock so the uh, output of those gps i got the i would say bnc analog version going through those uh, 50 ohm attenuator at the input and the two other digital one are the same kind of clock but going through the uh, the serial port of the uh, of the device and now we could inspect for behavior if i change the time base with my left hand and increase the sampling we could see something interesting so let's move this uh, a little bit to the left and now we got something like that so what do we see here? This is the uh, analog clock version of the uh, CNS clock, but the digital on the serial port seems to be a little bit uh, to the left of that. Well, in fact, this is the 
symmetrical and its analog version it is seems to be a little bit late but for the cns1 the digital part on the serial port is always late like that so one kind of analysis that you can do with this let's go measure and i will try to hold the scope at the right place so i could see it now you could do mixed uh mixed kind of analysis so let's say we want to see the um what is the delay between the analog one so channel one and let's look at the equivalent d2 clock so, so this is why I, you you want to keep the naming because the trees are moving so digital two analog one let's activate the delay on the rising i will remove uh, all the others uh, remove that thing remove that thing and remove that thing and now what we have is one microsecond of delay let's activate the statistics and the statistics says min max of this thing but you could e even look further let's say we go to settings uh, and activate the histogram and activate the labeling let's go to display activate the scale um, and that's about it so one way to work with it you turn this thing off temporarily you got the histogram the number of it at a certain value i won't run me a second could change maybe the display to this way so you got the analog trace on the top and the bottom you get the histogram you can remove the um, the grin on the time base uh, display but you cannot remove the uh, the grid on the bottom so you have the its and the uh, value on the bottom uh, and you could have in the same time the histogram since the histogram there is some kind of bin uh, so bin size 101 picosecond and you could look at uh, maybe the median of the value one microsecond of delay it's equivalent to the mean uh statistics 20, 20, 73 so far and you could reset the statistics to that um, and you got the equivalent analysis that you have uh with the normal uh parameter in measurement set so let's go to setting Turn the histogram off uh, you could turn off also the statistics and you got the normal display so that's way to uh, a way to work with the digital um, we'll try to do uh, something more interesting with the timing and and how to use the sampling on the next uh, video again don't move beyond 100 millisecond as a time base this is the uh, limit of the analysis. The scope will change behavior if you activate too much time. It's a memory issue. And let's go back to the normal digital signal. Okay.